Hello, welcome to our piano tutorial. Today we'll be learning Good Old Days by Kesha and Malcolm Moore. Now, you've definitely heard the song on the radio. Uh, the intro starts out with a nice, pretty piano little intro, and then it goes right into the verse, and it's a super easy pop song. You can learn it in literally about five, ten minutes. So without further ado, let's get into it. The intro for you guys is going to show you all the chords you need to know throughout the entire song, and also will show you the chorus uh, what, later when it comes on. So here we go. Right, super, super simple. Um, it's not difficult at all, and I'll show you what I mean right now. All right, so you start out with this uh, E chord for four beats. So what I mean is that you have one, two, three, four, E flat, E flat chord, I should say, which is E flat in your left hand with G, B flat, and E in your right. So you have one, two, three, four, next measure, or the next one, you're going to go to A flat major, which is, for me, I do A flat and E flat in my left hand with A flat, C, and E in my right. And I do that for four beats too. So one, two, three, four, and one. So on four and, so you have A flat, one, two, three, A flat, excuse me, E flat, F, C minor, G minor, uh, first inversion, A flat major. So what I mean by that is that you have C minor, which is C, E flat, and G in both hands. And you're gonna go beat one, beat two, beat three. And this beat two is is a, a G minor first inversion, which means that it's G flat, it's G, B flat, and D, but since B flat is the lowest note, then it's technically an inversion of G major, or excuse me, G minor. So B flat, D, and G in both hands. So you have C minor, G uh, first inversion, A flat major, one, So, you end on the A flat, three, four, you met an actual G minor chord, one, and two, and, so you're going to play G minor, which is G, B flat, and D, and then, so one, and two, and, and all you're doing is hitting the G and the B flat, which is already part of the G minor chord. Back to the A flat major chord and then E flat major. So I'm gonna play the intro very slowly, and this is gonna be your chorus as well, as well as like the it's well technically it's still part of your intro. So here we go slowly. E flat, two, three, four, and A flat, two, three, E flat, F, C minor. G first inversion, A flat major, four, G minor, A flat major. And that whole part repeats again, and that's when Kesha sings when she comes in. So you play that part again. That's your intro, or part of it anyway. And then it kind of double times it, which but means that like, it cuts some of the unnecessary parts out. So the second part of this intro is. And then it goes into the, the verse. And all you're doing there is you're playing the same exact thing. You're playing if you're playing it like twice as fast. So E flat major for two beats. 
E flat major for two beats. One, two, three, four, and then into the verse. And the verse will happen right now. So the verse uh, has, I've looked at some stuff online and you know, some of it gives you like chords to work with. I'm gonna make it super easy for you guys and just do two main chords and they're gonna be E flat major and A flat major. And then with some little piano things that whoever is playing piano does, I think it might be Kesha, but I haven't watched the, the video. Um, yeah, so really, so Nakamura comes in. One, two, three. part really repeats throughout most of it. I mean, you have like... If you want to get into that, which is honestly, if you want to learn that part, it's B flat, G, F, E flat, F, E flat. It's really just not really important. But if you want to make it nice, go ahead and do that. Anyway, um, yeah, so you have Malcolm Moore singing. And every, basically every measure or every four beats, it's gonna, you're going to switch chords. So you have one, two, three, four. And that little thing we're doing is just F, G, E flat. G, F, E flat. And that's just tra transitioning into your chords. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's basically the entire verse. You don't need to know any more than that. Besides that part, we're getting to the bridge, and that's really simple as well. Yeah, don't play G flat. It's not it's not in the key. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's the same two chords you were working with before. I just added in, so you have, yeah, same two chords, E flat major and A flat major. And you might see me hit this B flat, so like this. Personally for me, it just gives it a uh, better tone quality or a better, a better sound, I should say. And it's technically, it's technically an A flat nine chord, but the B flat is just down here. And I'm not playing G flat either, or G, I should say. With all that aside, you're just playing two chords. Same thing, E flat major and A flat major. And that is your entire song. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you like, please drop a like and comment on what song you're going to do next. I'll be uploading a lot more than I have been in the past month and a half or two months. So uh, I'm trying to work on new, some new stuff. Uh, I have a lot of room to work on and I have some stuff on my channel I want to post. Uh, we're not really doing piano tutorials at all, just doing like music theory stuff and whatnot. So if you like that, comment down below what you want to see, and I will see you guys in the next video.